Hello and welcome. I'm on the lot, as of usual, the used lot. And this is a 2015 Dodge 5500. And I just wanted to ask you, do you want to go in business for yourself? <laughs> this is where you're going to live. This is your sleeper compartment. And uh, does it look like, can you get through there? I think you're supposed to be, if not, there's got to be a door on the other side, right? So... There has to be an exit from it because I don't think you can get through. Yeah, you have to be able to get through. It's hard to see in there, so maybe there's a curtain in there, all right? So we're going to assume there's a curtain. You have to be able to get in and out of it, of course. Isn't this great? Boy, this looks pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, here's, a, here's your connection right here, right? I'm going to sleep here. It's a few feet wide. Uh, maybe three feet by, what? Well, seven feet high but the mattress you know is going to be right here because you have storage underneath so you're going to be here you'll have this part here here's some nice ventilation for you right there i uh when i started driving i had sleepers similar to this you can't sit up uh you know you can't do anything you're going to change clothes laying down awesome you're going to park at a truck stop and sleep surrounded by urine bottles and uh not prostitutes so much anymore but uh you know just disgusting, uh, you know, just disgust, really. And sleep in the back of a parking lot on the weekends. Now, uh, this thing has the Cummins in it, so a straight six. I don't know what kind of mileage you might get in this. I'm getting, uh, I just was looking at it yesterday, I'm getting about 8.7 in my semi. So, I don't know what you'd get in this, 10, 12? Could you get 12 out of this thing? Maybe, it depends what you're pulling, I suppose. I suppose it's what you're pulling just coming to me turbo diesel you have to announce that to everybody so that you feel better about yourself the wheels look really tiny compared to uh compared to the truck inside it'd be the dodge just a regular dodge inside okay so you're just going to get a regular dodge pickup inside the vehicle here's for either gooseneck or fifth wheel and now i've seen some of these people pulling uh way too much they'll pull a car trailer with five suvs on it i've seen that there's no way this thing's rated for that kind of uh, weight. <laughs> you know, you got a 26,000 pound plate on. I don't know why it's still plated. Here, the plate would come off of it. Here's your uh, officially mandated fire extinguisher. You can see how long it's been in the sun, considering how faded it is. And uh, it's full. So, all right, we're ready to go. We are ready to go. I just wanted to know if you wanted to start a business for yourself and sleep in a tiny sleeper uh, for a week or more at a time. Maybe several weeks at a time. Here's a DEF, diesel exhaust fluid fill right there. That's pretty awesome. So uh, would that be something that would interest you? Is that uh, you want to sleep in this sleeper? Now, I don't know how many miles it has, and there's no price on it. But I'll tell you, look at the paint has come off of it already, like this. And this fire extinguisher is very faded from being outside, which I'm surprised they leave it outside. It's going to be out here 10 below zero or whatever. It's probably not in the cab of the truck either way little storage down there and you can just drive this thing around to your heart's content depending on the weight of your trailer of course this is a cdl required vehicle it's got a 26,000 pound plate on it so you're going to need a commercial driver's license and a combination vehicle driver's license for this so enjoy that that's not that hard to get anymore a few weeks of school if you want to know how to get that license you can always talk to me about that i can tell you the best way to do that so there he goes, your Dodge 5500. Price unknown, miles unknown, but possibly a way for you to get in business with yourself. Hey, you don't want to start this kind of business? How about a crane thing on a truck? Who knows Who knows what's going on here, okay? Either way, time to go in business for yourself. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon on the lot.